guys, so today I'm doing a sort of, instead of doing a December favourites, I've decided to do um, of what everyone else is doing, like the products of 2012. So I'm not going to include like other things like films and everything else, um, like other people have been doing. I'm just going to do makeup and maybe like perfume and skincare. So I'm just going to start off with um, my favourite things and here we go. Okay, so I have everything here on my bed. I'm just going to pick things up randomly. So I'll start off with eyes. The first thing in eyes I've got is a cream eyeshadow. And this has been my favourite eye cream eyeshadow for the year. It's the um, eye tattoo. You've probably heard about this a lot. Colour Studio Colour Tattoo. And it's in bronze on bronze. And it just looks like that. I've mentioned it before. It's just been the best base colour and I can I don't even need to use it as a base I can just use it on its own it lasts all day for me it doesn't crease I don't even put a primer on with this because it's a cream eyeshadow but yeah it's brilliant and it's I don't know the price I'll link prices below if I don't know them but I think it's five pounds 4.99 something like that and that's from Maybelline next for eyes I have for my eyeshadow I had to choose this because it's the one that I've most used all year as you can see some of them like sidecar and virgin and half baked i use them a lot oh I don't blind you um but yeah that i'm gonna have to choose that as my favorite eyeshadow because i know it's a lot but yeah it's really good and it's been my favorite thing to use next for eyes i have an eyeliner now i didn't choose a pencil eyeliner because i haven't actually been using that a lot um, this year apart from other years so I've chosen a liquid eyeliner and it's this Master Precise and I know only, I only got this about six months ago something like that but it's so good it's just I've been using it most days I'm not wearing it today but I have been using it most days just to create that line that gives your eyes definition and it's just amazing I think it's £8 £7.99 something like that um okay for brushes, um, I've only chosen chosen two brushes. I've chosen a face brush and an eye brush. So for my eye brush, I've chosen the MAC 217. The name's kind of rubbed off. But yeah, it's just the best bl brush for blending. Even though I got the Real Techniques core um, the whole collection even, um, I've still been going back to this brush because it's just amazing. It blends out perfectly. It's a bit dirty because I've been using it. But um, it's just brilliant and I love it. So yeah. The next brush I've got is for a face, face brush and it's the MAC 187. I've been using this probably probably for about a year. I'm not sure when I got it, maybe in February or something like that. But it's just brilliant for blusher. I, I think, well, to apply blusher it's okay, but to blend it out is perfect. That's why I use the Sipling brush from Real Techniques to put it on and then I blend it out with this and it's just brilliant. Um, haven't noticed any shedding with it maybe once or twice when I've washed it but it's fine so I'm not sure I think it's 30 something pounds I'll put the link below where you can buy it um, next I'll go for blusher um, I've got the MAC cream blend blush in something special and this has just been the best, best blusher for me because I think it's just because it doesn't look cakey at all because a powder sometimes makes me look cakey and this just blends into the skin and looks perfect so I love that I think that's £17.50 and along with that I'm going to use this as I know it's a blusher but I'm just going to use it as my bronzer and I know I only got it at Christmas but it just beats any other bronzer that I've used and it's MAC Harmony it's just perfect it blends in well it suits a lot of skin tones even mine that's quite fair um, I'm wearing it today it just blends in perfectly it's just really natural and you can build it up to make it more dramatic if you want to and I love that next for um, oh I forgot to include this in eyes in eyes I've got the falsies now I've chosen I only just got this one I chose them a different one because they didn't have the one that I wanted but just overall the falsies mascara is just the best um, I've used high-end ones this year and I nothing compares to this for the price it's eight pounds 
8.99 or something like that and it's just brilliant it makes my eyelashes long it thickens them it's just overall the best mascara for the price um, and I don't want to pay for benefit and things like that because I just find this is the best that works for me so yeah that one for mascara and then for face I've only checked well like foundation and that I've just chosen a concealer because I don't wear foundation um, and obviously it has to be the Collection 2000 Last Imperfection Concealer because it's just, it just covers up anything, it's quite high coverage, um, it doesn't look cakey, it just, it's four, five pounds, four ninety nine or something like that and there's so many concealers that you can get at like twenty pounds or something like that and I just think this tops it all. Um, 16 hour wear, I'm not sure if it's 16 hour wear but for me it does last all day covers up um, dark circles good just brilliant really So yeah. for lips I have the NYC lip colour lip gloss in Parkave pink and I love this, it's the best smelling one ever and it's just lovely on your lips and then I've got the Dub 077 Asia Rimmel London lip lipstick and it's just natural, I've been wearing it every day, mostly for school, um, you can wear it without like looking in a mirror because it's just, it's just fine for that and I really like it, I think it's £5 something like that. So I'm running out of time a bit, so I've got, for hair I've got Armagon hair therapy oil and I've just been using this um, when I get out of the shower, I've talked about it before, it's just really good for all hair types and it just makes my hair look really shiny. I think I think it's quite expensive. I think it's around twenty pounds for this small bottle, but I got it for my hairdresser, so I'm sure you can get it online cheaper. Then for scent, it has to be um, the Shiruti 1881. This is the one that I just got for Christmas, but I've had the smaller version. <laughs> I dropped it. Okay, I've had the smaller version. Um, but yeah, it just smells so nice. I love it. I can wear it every day. I can wear it out. Um, and I just love it. Then the last thing I've got is skincare. And it's the Active Moist by Dermalogica. I've talked about this before. It just make, makes my skin so soft and feel feels clean. It's just brilliant, really. So I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Um, and if you have any requests or anything you want to ask me, just comment down below or you can get me on my Twitter, which I'll link below. So you can ask me any questions and I will do the video for you. I'll do a Q&A, whatever you want me to do. Um, so, yeah. Bye.